There's that release. I want to catch flatheads. Me too. Littlest bass I've ever caught. Ah, uh, he bit me a little bit on the way out. <laughs> Catching some more bait fish. We got a whole five gallon bucket this time, some smaller worms. Pretty looking creek. We're over here in the shade because it is blazing today. <clears throat> Guys, let me get a zoom in. Oh, yeah, Caleb just got a pretty one. On this rock, I'm seeing a bunch of them right here. I'm about to catch one. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Guys, Check us out, look at this beautiful guy. We're gonna let him go, we're just catching bait right now. He's a bit too big. Guys, look at this one. Look at how pretty that is. He's just, we're gonna let him go, he's too big, but wow. Had one on, I had one on. Guys, look at that. Caught another little bait fish. It's a really tiny one. Just, just got a longer pull. And... But if it's in the same spot, you just gotta there we go. That is much better. We're here at Bait Creek. That's what I'm going to start calling it because we have just caught so much bait here just in the past two days. And with that bait, I caught my biggest catfish ever, biggest blue catfish. Thing was a monster. Ah. Oh, up this. And there's like some rocks and stuff, but there's a little, it's an old trail. I found this one day when I was fishing down here. We're over here at the other spot. We're getting set up right now. I'm gonna get this little hook off there, get a spinner. We have, looks like two or three people fishing down there actually, on down, down that way a little bit. I've never seen people fishing here. It must be a good day for it. Enough talk, let's get out there. Guys, first fish, littlest bass I've ever caught. I'm gonna release them. Littlest bass I've ever caught. Ah, he bit me a little bit on the way out. <laughs> He gave me, he gave me his, uh, he gave me his goodbyes. So this is the weight I'm using for the catfishing tonight. We've got a bead to stop it. That's a three ounce goose egg right there. Caleb's getting me a hook on. Yeah, we'd have a boat. We'd have a garage stocked with fishing shit. Look at that sunset again, man. I'm over here in this area. This area is really pretty. I just had like two fish on. I had one on for sure. Got it up to the shore and it fell off. I just crossed the creek to get over here. There's back over this creek. This is the bridge I was using. This is right where we was catching all them bluegill. If you look closely, you can probably see some in there. Snake! What's up? What's up? Yeah. All right, guys. This is the guy we're gonna use. Live bait fishing, baby. All right, we've got the pole set up here next to the tree again. I'm not gonna record this part because hey, nobody wants to see this. Let's not forget that nifty job of, you know, our rig right here. We're running 30 to 30, so you know, it's kind of crazy. Usually your main line is lighter and your leader's heavier, but <laughs> we're just doing it how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, guys. I knew it's into a pole, in the water. Alright. We've actually got quite a few people here today at the spot. We've got some folks down there. We've also got some people down here on this end who have been here since before we got here. Caleb's got his two poles set up. Finally got mine out there. Caleb just pulled his rod in, he had a fish on, but it got off, man, but... But we ain't been out here that long, though, so... Sorry, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, baby. Not too shabby. Eat it. It's a big catfish. Channel cat. I'll save them for them over here. When y'all get done fishing, y'all can come get them from me. You have a stringer? No problem. 
right here. Um, people right. Yeah. She's home free, getting her back in the water. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's a goner. Dang, yeah, she swam away quick. Dude, you made him run away. Literally just trying, it was sitting there on this rock, opening its mouth at Caleb. Like, it was like showing him that it ain't messing around. Guys, look what my cousin got me set up with here. Look at that, the attachment down to a fish. This is on my green pole. I've also got that one. We got, we're about to have four poles in the water. Oh, it won't focus. Caleb just caught another fish. I just seen it splash. It's a pretty big one. Oh, wow. What is that? Dude, is that a, you caught a big striper. Oh. I thought that was a striper at first. Damn, boy, that's a big old drum. <laughs> well, goddamn. Dude, you just caught a big old drum. He's sharp. He was heavier. There's that release. Look at that, wow. I got a pretty good video of that. Oh, there he goes. They, they are tough. I dropped the one that I had, too. We've moved down the river a little bit. This is our new setup. We've got a chair set up down there. Getting me a new fish on there. Still got four poles in the water. Three at the moment. I'll show y'all down here. Little tour. MTV Cribs of the river. Got a lantern here. Put this. Now you guys can see it. Guys, Caleb's on fire, bro. This this one about just took his pole right here. Both of his poles were getting hit, and then the one on the left just got, like, one of them was getting hit, and then one just got took. Oh, wow. I was expecting bigger, but that's still good. Look at this guy. I can stand like that. He felt like something big. I want to catch flatheads. Me too. Are those out here? Yeah, flatheads and blue. They're out here. It's just hard to catch. Goodbye, buddy. Wish me a flathead right here. We are officially heading out. It's about 2 in the morning. Caleb caught a bunch. I didn't catch really much, but what I caught during the day.